Welcome to Death Valley, California, and a group of 14 Pleasure Way Tofino owners. We got together and did sort of a meetup, and I recorded most of the tour. Two things before we jump into it. Number one, I want to say thank you so much, Angela and Jasper, for bringing us to Death Valley. I really appreciate it, and thank you so much for including us in your adventures. The second thing is that this is the first time that I've video recorded anything like this. I'm a total amateur. I didn't want to get it in the way and I wasn't sure what to do. So this isn't the most professional van video. I had a lot of fun creating it. I hope that you will have a lot of fun watching it. And my name is Angela. My favorite hack are these. I empty all my pillows and I put all my clothes in my pillows. Oh, wow. So all the clothes I own in the world are in this van. And if you come in, you won't see any clothes anywhere. <laughs> so that's my favorite hack. My favorite feature is the box on my pillow when I bought it because I looked at other ones. And I just see the pop off. So that was my favorite. Um, the, the worst thing is like putting that feet up. What do you know now that you wish you would have known when you first started? I would have bought it a year earlier. It's been 125 days. I have another six weeks and I'm like just loving every day. Death Valley, Joshua Tree. Uh, this was my favorite park, Lost Dutchman, which I already booked for next year. All my clothes and all my pillows. Right? Dirty or clean? Clean. I'm Tracy Ryder from uh, Port Franks, Ontario, which is southern Canada, two hours from Detroit. And the favorite place I've been, like other than like three and a half hours away from my house, which is the uh, Peninsula, which is a uh, UNESCO, uh, UNESCO Peninsula. There's a campground there I really like called Cape Croker. It's on an Indian reservation. What is it what called? Is it, Bruce? Cape Croker. It's on the Indian reservation. And where was that at? Uh, on the Bruce, Bruce Peninsula in Ontario. through Ontario. A lot of rocks, rocky shores. It's just a really narrow um, peninsula, so it's got a lot of bays and coves and different birds and plants and beautiful stuff there. It's really, really beautiful part of Canada. Wow, there's nobody around. Except, I'm not sure who left that behind. There's quite a bit more there, I didn't realize. Hello. The best places I like to go is the I buy, I, people call it my beach house because I go to the ocean to get out of the heat. Uh, Jacksonville is very hot. So I go in the summer to get out of the heat. So what beach? Uh, Doran, because they allow dogs. Oh, so Doran is the one that goes to the Bay. The Digga Bay. The Digga Bay. The Digga Bay. The Digga Bay. Yeah, it's closest to me and it only takes two hours to get there. So. And um, the reason I bought it is because everything's really simple in this thing. If something goes wrong, you can pretty much fix it yourself. So, um, and the systems are very easy. Yeah, tell tell Lori about it. Uh, well, I actually, the reason I bought the van was because of her. Really? For her videos. Oh, same yeah. Here. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did want a red one as well, as well but I bought it used, so I got it. Hi, I'm Mona from Huntington Beach, California, and this is Bad Lab. So everything is mobile and everything has two functions. Wow. And um, same thing with the magnetic strips. You know, we've got a metal home. So oh my God. get everything with a magnet on it. I don't have a sold it instead of kicking the husband out. 
<laughs> so next time I'll do it. Um, I think, what was I going to say? The worst thing about the van was... There's somebody well, in their photograph. Uh, well, I wanted a pop top. I needed seatbelts for my grandkids. I got to stuck this up, but it's a, like a pollution light. Because one thing I don't like is when you open the side door, the light doesn't come on. Yeah. And that's kind of like, oh, bummer. But I do have these inflatable solar lights that are really handy for buzzing over to so the did, bathroom. Did or, oh, wow. come with a screen? No screen. Oh, no, and I couldn't, I couldn't talk them into a screen for the life of me. Huh. So I'm going to have to buy a screen. One thing I did buy that I really like is a little portable fan. For when I'm sitting back here and it's just not quite breezy enough, the portable fan works really well. Marty, named after her, she has cancer. Oh. She only drove it for 500 miles. Oh. Oh. So she's so sad to let it go. Yeah, away. She has a stage four cancer. Um, so I've been sending photos to where oh. I've been uh, to her. She enjoyed it. She's her late 60s. Uh, my um. favorite. Um, feature of the van. I love the pop top. I love how small it is. I'm only five feet tall, so this is perfect. Um, I love the layout, but the worst part is that there's no hot water, no toilets, and shower. But I have several hacks. This is one of them. Um, I have this water here. You just use this propane, and it comes with a little shower thing, so immediately you get instant hot water. Where's the water go? Oh, on your head. You can put it in a bucket. You can put it in a bucket. Drain. Drop it in the bucket oh. on the ground. It pump it up, and it instantaneous get hot water. I got it from Walmart. Uh, and we shower in a tent like this. Two hundred and thirty dollars. But it's it's doable. At least I have shower and toilet is one of those porta potty. Three different kinds of toilets. Yeah, me too. Uh, I like this one. <laughs> not it's not a hack, but it, it saved the day. I toast my bread, my bagel, everything, breakfast, lunch. Um, so I love I like this one. It's only like twelve bucks from Amazon. Um, Dash. I just screwed it in because this is really just a piece of wood. Okay, so so I screwed this yeah. in from Amazon. I have my mirror too. Oh, and then the cabinetry, I mostly just use these things from uh, Walmart or Target. So you just have these plastic drawers for toilets, I mean, for ottenants and utensils. How does that stay on? It? It, yeah, I have these uh, uh, stickers, uh, silicon stickers. The double-sided one. I have these rack too. Um, I got this one because I want to watch movie. So what I did is uh, I got the, these white curtains and I had these projectors. And you can connect to your cell phone or anything. And you project it to watch movie here. So it's really wonderful. Uh, you can use Chromecast, you can use, they have a different, basically all you have it, HDMI, anything attached to HDMI, you can watch a movie out of it. This is only $50. Oh. And it adds a lot of entertainment for us. Yeah. Um, My dad never said anything was only $50. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, the trunk space. I love Lori's idea to be, able to be able to sleep in the back, but we can't. Um, so, I use my garage space this way. I, I use this thing so I can hold it and I can access my trunk space or put it down um, to make the bed. Yeah, so basically, oh, um, yeah. I put one of these things yeah. small. It's yeah. really hard to take this thing up and yeah, down from sure. the top. So I added these yeah. two so I can hold on to it. But I also added two more so that sometimes I can bring it down. If I can just take it down from there and just leave it down and sometimes leave it up. So it's easy to access things in the back. So, I'm Nancy, a.k.a. Lola, as in whatever Lola wants. Oh! <laughs> I'm from Tucson, Arizona, originally from Massachusetts. So I've been in Tucson for 45 years. The name of my band the mattress bus. <laughs> from the song by the pool. Best pack I have, I have a heated mattress pad, which I absolutely adore. You don't have to turn on your propane until the morning. You take the chill off and it keeps it super cool. Where did you get the thing on top? 
that they came from um, on Amazon. It's a restaurant show. Your Lysol wipes, your um, you spray, and you can actually, when you're driving, you can reach over. Oh, wow. Oh, are you so that works pretty well. well. And I think you can even no turn the around. around. All right. That's, that's a water. Oh, you can. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a what? Yeah, so that's awesome. Yeah, there's, yeah there's, I have four of these. So this fits three yeah, gallons of water. water. For your fresh water. And you know what I did? Because it was oh. sliding around. I got some of the um, oh, shelf liner. Yeah. And actually that shelf liner I put underneath here because this was sliding Can't too. Hey, Norm. Angela. San Luis Obispo, California. And what's your band's name? Mm, we're still working, we're still working on it. Next. We heard that there were two year wait lists for it, and Madonna Hotel, we have been by there, very famous. It had a four day RV show. Oh, so we wow. dropped by there. They had six uh, class Bs there. One of them was the Tofino, which we had looked at before online. And we said, well, do we want to wait two years or do we want to get it now? So we decided to get it. So we are hackless. We haven't really made any modifications to it. My favorite addition is my porta potty, <laughs> which I use. Uh, Not sure who left that behind. Tom and Ellen, That's Seattle. I call it the pleasure dome. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you call it. The pig pen. We've got the badges still on. Ah. There's people out there, one person leaves. I like the pleasure dome. That's the thunder dome. Yeah, yeah. the pleasure dome is, is from. Uh, Kublai Khan, the pleasure dome. Can I pull the, the step thing out a little bit? You can oh. pull these steps out back that's, in. That's nice. Um, got a nice, you know, solid grab bar. That's nice. I put in the, the, the factory grab bar. The problem with the template is they, they video it undersized. It's like it's a copy, so it's kind of squished or but something. But they do give a dimension between the so all you got to do is measure that distance to see if that bottom hole is actually going to do it. Otherwise it will be half inch off. Alright, we're Jim and Carrie from San Clemente, California. What's the band's name? This is uh, Vincent. I call her Daisy. Vincent, oh. there you go. <laughs> But we're in, yeah, that or Daisy, depending on who you ask. <laughs> and who's, what's the dog's name? Ringo. 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 Excellent. Thank you. Ringo. And Daisy. <laughs> we're rookies. We're just. Well, my name is Terry, and I'm from France originally. And What's it's your the very first Tofino sold? Diego, because I bought it at San in San Diego. <laughs> so, uh, uh, my name is Terry. This is actually one of the first Tofino that they sold in America. So, I bought it in uh, early 2019. You can tell the grill is different than everybody else. Oh yeah. And I'm going to uh, offer if somebody wants to. And I was starting to get all these little uh, stones, like a uh, paint missing, so uh, I bought that also on a company called Amazon. I sleep upstairs so I can do Airbnb downstairs. <laughs> so, I love the pop-up, but the only thing I use it for is for me to stand when I'm cooking and also to store, like, I, the, my bed is always a bed, and I have a lot of crap, so when I park, I pop the, the roof up and I put all my clothes bag and all the stuff upstairs so I have more room. So anyway, these are great. They are, they use magnets and uh, you know they, they pop in a second. Yeah, oh, just like yeah. that. And that allows me to oh, yeah. uh to oh yeah. So bees and uh, flies, whatever don't get in but uh how much did you it? it was a uh, hundred dollars for both Oh, they take the old window, the stock window out, and then they put a new one. How much is that? 170. What? Yeah. That's it? That's it? It's amazing. They actually have a, a wire. It's a tool. All that is, everything is glued on these vans. Everything is glued. Nothing is fastened with screws. 
and they have a, they put a wire and they have a little crank and then the wire just goes inside and in five minutes the window is out yeah and it's so surprising that you're like oh my gosh it was so easy to to uh fall off yeah. and um they put it on in like five minutes and they use a, a glue and then they put a um uh, a catalyst okay you know like uh, so it, it activates the glue one year warranty um and that one the more expensive like the cheaper one the, the screen the, the box screen is on the outside with velcro and i was like no that's no. that's good you know so that one is on the inside and i can also actually open the screen as well if i want to and then the lock you would have to break the window to actually unlock because it. I spent a lot of time in the desert, and I have like four USB fans. Yeah. 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 And, and and the thing <laughs> is that to. before yeah. the air was trapped in the back, you know, like it doesn't matter how much how much vent you were getting, uh -huh. it was not coming out. And normally I sleep with the windows open, the, the back doors open, so it's not an issue. But if I, you know, if it's raining or if I'm near a city or if I'm in the bare country, yeah. I close the, the, the I doors, that you know, yeah. I sleep on that side. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and okay. uh, so I think it would be, if you're two people, you might want to do both. I found some ice cream here. Oh, okay. One time. Really but now everything's in plastic boxes, so I don't do it. So when I park, I always open the hood, so people think that ProMasters are, like, really cheap and break down all the time. <laughs> people stop and say, do you need help? I'm like, no, no, because last year I was in the summer, I was here by myself in the sunset campground. I was uh -huh. by myself. So I parked near, there's a little tree. That's the, that was the only shade. Yeah, the and I parked next to it and I was like making dinner. And then I was like, oh, I should check the oil. Just like, you know, stupid stuff you do. So I opened the hood and I opened the hood and right there is the biggest uh, rat I've ever seen. Oh, really? And he's on top. So he's, he was actually almost at eye level with me. <laughs> and he wasn't scared of me. He no. was like totally looking at me. You're as and I, I was like, oh! you know, and then I screamed and uh, I cried. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, there's nobody. I cannot call somebody like a tough guy to come. And uh, so I, I shook. And he had started to make a nest out of white material, and I was yeah. like, "Where? What is white?" And uh, all the labels you have on electrical—it's a white label, so that that silly rat ate all the the, the the paper, the labels, and then made a little nest. So I cleaned that up, and I closed it because I'm stupid. A couple of hours later, I go back, and he's back on, and this time he made a bed out of. Something black. I was so like, why do you leave the, the, why do people leave the top off? They can just go in anyway. So. No, so the idea is that uh, they don't like they don't like light. light. And also, I have a spray bottle and I spray uh, pepper mint water. Yeah. And it might be completely bogus, but it makes me it feel works, good. And I, yeah. that so I have I have uh, six Irish spring, yeah, Irish spring uh, bars, yeah. and I have them all That's over goodness. the van. I'm and done. plus everything's in plastic. And I also have that rope light, right? I put around, yeah. and that. Like, I'm, I'm I don't see any problem now. Wow. Actually, in town in Phoenix, and I opened the hood to check the oil, and there was uh, droppings on top. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? So I used that, and that charges, you know, during the day. I would just put that on the, in the windshield. And at night, it's automatic. It's, like, when it's dark, it turns on. And then you keep the light under the hood on. So I just used that, and that was like $9.99. That's great. You know. Just a light? Yeah, it's just a light. Oh. And if you don't want bread, there's um, bell peppers. Teresa's turn. She's got really good food. Little plates. Oh my gosh! Oh, a 2019 chassis, but it's a 2021 and a half. So I've got a mix of different things going on. And what's the name of your van? So my van is called Tardis, like uh, the Doctor Who, because it's bigger in the inside. Um, I actually don't have a lot of built up, but that's on purpose. My husband and I have different hobbies. He will carry a big paramotor. Yeah, yeah motor sailing, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So that huge paramotor fits in the back there. Wow. Uh, wow. And then I have a 14 year old son who's taller than me, so he gets the penthouse. But the reason why we got this is because love the pop top and I can drive it independently. I go to the beach a lot. So this is not a fancy thing, but I am constantly doing our legs oh, wow. and so this works out great and this, and if we have boogie boards i'm cleaning off the boogie board this little thing is great because if i'm washing vegetables or washing fruit or even if i'm drying my plates it's like this uh, so if i needed a serving plate or if i needed something to dry that's great. I have that. great. oh there's holes oh. in it okay yeah 
if someone yeah. tells me it's mean spirited, I'll take it off. But no one's, no, everyone's had a sense of humor so far. Hello, I'm David. And I'm Allison. And we're from South Orange County. And this is Scarlett Joe Vanson. So one of the main things that I had to have was somewhere to hang my clothes. Um, I'd love it if somebody found something better. I found uh, this rack from Ikea uh, and it works pretty good, but it does keep my clothes up there. I'm still looking for the absolute perfect thing. If anybody's having problems with the shower, I found a hack for that. I have a little uh, screwdriver flathead that's got the the corners rounded off, and you know you have to turn off the water pump, turn on the faucet, and then if that doesn't work, I just take the screwdriver and punk it in. You can hear a little click, and then when you turn it back on, psh, it's ready to go. Oh, like to have it more like this only? Yeah. There's a stopper you put here. Really? But it's a hundred dollars, so I'm thinking there's got to be some way to do it. Oh. And then it, it won't move back and forth, right? Yeah. It'll stop. And here's what Ruby's looking like these days. And there's where I sleep at night. It's a very comfy bed. It's perfect for a woman five feet tall. Thank <laughs> you.